Hi, I'm Kathy McMillan, author of Nita's Day. In the story, we see Nita going about a day in the life of a young child using American Sign Language with her parents to describe the things she does throughout the day. Here's a follow-up activity you could use in your classroom or story time with toddlers and preschoolers to reinforce some of the concepts in the story and some of the signs. This is a writing activity. It, not the kids that are going to be writing, it's the grown-up, but this is a writing activity in that it is reinforcing vocabulary, letter recognition, text-to-self connection, and classification and logical thinking. And it's demonstrating writing skills that these little ones will be learning as an important part of early literacy. So using a whiteboard or a large piece of flip chart paper, you'll make three columns, one for morning, one for afternoon, and one for evening. And then you'll have the kids brainstorm things that they do in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Now, if you've just read the story, obviously they will probably be giving you back some of the things in this story, like wake up and diaper change or use the potty. And some of these items will appear in multiple lists and that's okay because the idea is to get the kids involved and thinking about it. And some of the items on the list are going to be things that you might not know the sign for. That's okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. So once they've made their list, um, you're going to write it up on the, the board or the flip chart paper, spelling out each word as you go to help with that uh, letter recognition skill. And then once they've made the list, you're going to review each list and then you can incorporate items from those lists into this song to reinforce. Now, when you're doing this song, you may want to incorporate some of the signs that they've just learned, like bath or book, and there may be some things that you don't know the signs for, that's okay. So there's a couple ways you can handle that. If you have time in your lesson or your story time, you could go to an online resource to find a video of the sign and learn it together. That's a great technique because it shows kids that adults don't always have all the answers and when you don't know something, you go look it up from a good source. So you're modeling really good information seeking behaviors there. If you don't have time to do that in your classroom or story time, you can have the kids act it out and just say, I don't know how to say that in American Sign Language. How can we act that out using our bodies? And I'm sure the kids will have lots of ideas for that. So here's our song. You might recognize the tune as the classic Apples and Bananas. Um, I'll give you an example. If we were to use the sign for, if we were to use the, the concept of eating, you would say, I like to eat, eat, eat in the morning. I like to eat, eat, eat in the morning or the evening or the afternoon, depending on what's on their list. If you wanted to make it more specific, you could say, I like to eat my breakfast in the morning. I like to eat my breakfast in the morning. And then of course you can use activities throughout the day, acting them out, adding the signs, working in however you want to do it. You can also, if you have some older kids in your classroom or story time, invite them to come and lead the song um, because once you've established the pattern, that gives them a chance to be the leaders as well. This is a really fun activity with a lot of potential for tie-ins to different areas of the curriculum, and I hope that you'll enjoy using it.